This is the Behind the Line podcast, and this is Headlines in Three Minutes for Friday, November 19th, 2021. House Democrats say they have the votes to vote for the Build Back Better plan. And they attempted to do that vote last night, but House Republicans stopped them by talking for eight hours straight, where most Democrats left before a vote could be done. The vote is expected to happen today. Three Republican lawmakers are demanding information from the Department of Justice over the agency's raid of an apartment in New York associated with the conservative group Project Veritas. The raid was part of an ongoing investigation of how Ashley Biden, President Joe Biden's daughter, had her diary stolen and made public roughly one week before the 2020 presidential election. The FBI raided Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe's home and those of his associates on November 6th the FBI. Dirty, corrupt, inept, more concerned about parents at school board meetings than actual threats in this country. Lawmakers are becoming increasingly concerned about what they view as a lack of results from the Biden administration's moves to confront Russia over ransomware attacks. Their concerns come about five months after President Biden urged Russian President Vladimir Putin to take action against ransomware groups operating in Russia. Uh huh. Just another check mark on Biden's long list of failures. Austria, who earlier this week decided to lock down the unvaccinated, will become the first country in Western Europe to reimpose a full COVID 19 lockdown, it said on Friday, as neighboring Germany warned it may follow suit sending shivers through financial markets worried about the economic fallout. A fourth wave of infections has plunged Germany, Europe's largest economy, into a national emergency, Health Minister Jens Spahn said. He urged people to reduce their social contacts, warning that vaccinations alone would not reduce case numbers. Austria said it would would require the whole population to be vaccinated as of February. A group of senators are opposing the Biden administration's first major arms sale to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia over Riyadi's involvement in the conflict in Yemen, three senators announced Thursday. A joint resolution of disapproval to block a proposed $650 million U.S. arms sale to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was introduced by Rand Paul, Mike Lee, and Bernie Sanders. Government is government, folks, Republican or Democrat. This has been your headlines in three minutes. For more, visit BehindTheLionPodcast.com. Thanks for listening.